In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a logo folio for your next Behance project. Behance, and I've recently updated my profile. I haven't done it in a while, so you can see I don't have that many project views, but that's totally cool. I've got my information on the left, I input all that, and you can see some of my new projects I put. So I've got some client work that I've done, then I've also got these logo folios. So I'm gonna click on one of the recent ones that I did, and I'm gonna show you how to create this. So you can see we've got this nice cover here with the year created, the logo style. And then as I scroll through, just simple, clean logos. Just a, a nice layout, very minimal. You can see it looks very nice, which is beautiful. And then we've got a thank you slide at the end. And then you can see here, you know, starting to get comments and views, which is amazing. And then we've got our tags. So I'm gonna show you how to create this in Illustrator. You can also do it in Photoshop if you like. So in my Illustrator file, you can see I've got some slides here. The size for these slides are 1920 by 1080. And that's what you wanna use for pretty much all the slides or the sizes. You could probably do half the size. So if I half this, you know, you can just put a divide by two. I'll do this side. You can probably half it to this size and, and do it like this. And it should scale with Behance as well. So that's totally cool. So I'm just gonna go back. And what I typically do is I have my layers panel and because of, these are my old logos, I'm just going to turn that off in the 2019 layer as you can see there, which is fine. And I'm gonna start to drag out the logos that I've got from 2020. So you can see here what I did, I opened some of my old files, grabbed the logos in the white um, and just expanded it. So for example, I'll go to the logo, I'll go to type, just outline it or expand it and then just make it white and then just copy and just paste it into this folder or file just like this. And that's how I get the logo. So you can see I've got like heaps of the different files open and I just grab, grab those logos in. And the quickest way to make a lot of slides like this, what you can actually do is you can actually go, when you go to a new document, you wanna just go 1920 by 1080 and then just type in like, I don't know how many logos you might have like 10 or 20, you can just go like 10 and then make it landscape mode. The raster effects can be on screen or medium, it's up to you. I'm gonna press create. And then you can see it will make this slides like this. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna lock the background layer and I'm going to start to drag out these logos and just dump them in, in here and then I can straighten them out. Just make sure things are grouped. So I wanna make sure that the logos are grouped. And you can do the color versions of the logos and like, make you know change the background color so for example i can go to this background and like maybe make it whatever the color it was um, i could do it that way but i just like to have like the black and white look just to focus on the design um, i just kind of like that and it's very minimal so once you've dragged and dropped all your logos on here what you can actually do is just zoom in and i like to make it an even size so i'll make, sort of make it small not too big and what i'll do is i select the logo and you want to go to the top toolbar click this little drop down menu here and you can click align to artboard and then what you want to do is center it so i'll click the middle and then i'll also click the horizontal middle one as well and this should pretty much make this logo in the center of my artboard and then what i like to do is down the bottom here so you can see the font i'm using is uniform this is one of my brand fonts that i use and it's just clean it's a sans serif font which is really cool i have a gray version at a regular size and then i've got this um, font which is a bit bigger um, in the bold weight and that's just 30 points and this makes it clean and I put it in the corner here as you can see there and then what I'm going to do is like type in the client or maybe if it's just um, personal work then that's totally cool you can just put like you know I can put like personal work personal logos or exploration you can put like explorations if you want it's up to you I just leave it at client because some of it is client work. Some of it is just like 50-50. So that's awesome. So I, I usually like scale all these logos down to the way I want it. And you want to like make sure there's ample space there. Just so, you know, it has some breathing room in the actual slide. Because you don't want to make the logo heaps big like this. Like, you know, people can see it, you know. And you want to make sure that the colors as well. So you can see this one. I'm going to change it to white and then I'm going to make it sure that it's this gray color as well. So I love using these grays here, as you can see in my color palette, I have like different shades of gray. 
you don't want to go too dark but you want to sort of go in the middle there and then just make the other um, font white which is key text and now I'm just going to quickly make one of these thumbnails for the cover so you want to keep in mind that Behance you want to make sure that you see this cover is a different size to when I click inside of the actual logos You can see this is a 1920 by 1080p size, but the outside is a bit different So I'm gonna go back to Illustrator and I'm gonna press shift O to open my artboard tool and I'll show you the size for this one It's 16 16 pixels. So make sure your artboard is this size and Then you might want to have one that's 1920 by 1080 here, which is a different version so I'm just gonna drag this out like this I'll delete this and it's just pretty pretty much basic so I'll you know get my you can pick a font you can maybe go like Bebas or something this is a free font so we can go like this I'm gonna just call it logo design collection then I'll come down here and I'm gonna scale it down. So I drag the corner and hold shift and, and just drag it down like this. I'm gonna make it the gray there. And I can go designed by Jeremy. And I'm just gonna change this white. Delete that and then type in and then press control A, select it all, and then control shift and press the full stop or the right. Um, greater than sign on your keyboard and that should make it bigger and then I'm going to select this and then I'm going to hold alt and shift and drag it across and then I press ctrl d to do it again like that and then I can do um, date you can type in like 2020 and then I can drag this across like this and then I can do style um, let's just go logo marks, right? Super cool and I keep it clean. I can make it less bold if I want make it really small It just depends up to you guys and then I've got my logo here. You could probably paste your logo up here if you want Maybe we want we want to do it like this That's totally cool. And then what I love to do is like go and get some textures. So I've got a lot of textures here So maybe I want um, Maybe one of these textures here that's cool. You got like a wood one. We got some like marble and paint splatters. So I'm gonna drag and drop this tiff in here and drop it in. And then I like to bring it to the back. So I'll you can select object arrange, bring to the back. I'm gonna select the just make sure it's above the just the background color there. Cause I want to make it subtle and then typically I'll make it like a like a, just a lighter gray there just to be in the background as you can see which looks really really cool and then you know you can add some color if you want you can add some shapes maybe when we want to go like make a cool shape or something make it a little bit different and I'll make let's go to overlay or even color dodge yeah I think overlay looks cool and I think that works really well. Drop the opacity there. And I think that's pretty cool. And then I'm just gonna make sure we select this and then we'll go 03. I'll scale it up like this. Make it orange or maybe yellow. And then what I do is press Shift X to flip the fill to the stroke, as you can see. Just like that. I'm gonna bring it behind there and make it a little bit thinner like that and then you can make it like really big make sure it doesn't conflict with like the letters in the front there just you know, move that around like that awesome and there we have it we've got our cover design and let's save and export all this so I'm going to go file export and the go to export for screens what I'm going to do now is select all the files so my um, my cover I'm gonna select all these artboards here of the logos that I just put up there and then once I'm happy with it you can make it a JPEG at a hundred or a PNG will be fine I'm gonna locate the folder and I'm just gonna make a new folder and call it logo folio 2020 
Um, I'm going to just call it tutorial because this is a tutorial. Select the folder and then click export. Once you're happy with that, I'm going to go to Behance. You can actually duplicate or clone a previous project if you want, but I'm going to assume you don't have a project. So we'll, we'll click create project on the top right corner. Then all you have to do is click image here or on the right side, you click image. I'm going to go to that folder and then I'm going to start to just the, click the image button and then quickly click the logo file that you've created. So we can keep doing that until we have like all the logos. I'm just going to do a couple for now. I also want to add the cover image here. But you can see we should have done that first. So how do we bring this to the front? So the way you do that is all you have to do is just click on any image and go to the little left corner. You'll see this little blue icon with a pencil. You want to click that and click reorder project. Once you've done this, you will get this like little box pop up. I'm going to click, hold and drag my thumbnail or any file you want. You can always mix and match and drag it around. It's up to you. And then I can click save new order. And then now it will update, which is really, really cool. So another thing is, what if I don't want it, I don't want this space here? It's really cool because you can add like text here. So I can actually click add text and say, um, this is a logo collection of my designs for this year, you know, and that's pretty cool. And I can like customize the text. I can edit it. I can select it. I can make a bold. I can, you know, change the font. I can make it a header. I can, you know, even change the background as well, which is interesting, but it's up to you what you want to do with this. For me, I typically cut the space out because I can just make an image with text in it. So for this, you click on styles on the right hand side, change the color to typically like a black, but I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting this color here to match my background. I'll double click on my swatch panel so you can see my colors here. I'm going to double click, find the hex code, control C to copy. Then I'm going to paste it in here, right? And then what I'm going to do with the spacing, instead of increasing it, I'm going to drop it to zero. So now you can see that the spacing of the logos, there's going to be no space there. So click save. And then now it looks like a smooth transition all the way through, which is really cool. You can also edit the settings as well if you click settings. So make sure you guys see that. Next to styles, you see settings, click that. And then you can go logo, folio three. You can add keywords. So like you wanna go like logo design, logo type, logo mark, logo mark, logo folio, pretty much etc. And then tools you wanna use, type Adobe Illustrator. And then click graphic design. And then click this button, view all fields. And then what you can actually do is you want to scroll down and you want to click logo design and probably branding and then click done. And then and that's pretty much it. You can click publish. I'm just going to save it as a draft. And then that's pretty much it. You've done your logo folio on Behance and yeah, it looks amazing. And I'm super happy about that. And you can always like, you know, customize the area that you want and do whatever you want. So hope you enjoyed this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if this was interesting and you want more tutorials like this. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more design content every week. I'll catch you next time. I'll quickly show you some examples of amazing design case studies from a few brands that I love. So Farm Design is one of them. They have amazing work. So you can see some of their work. A lot of it's been featured. If I click on this one, Bucha Kombucha, Better Booch, which is really sweet. So you can see some of their imagery here, their logos, the packaging, the messaging. This one's a very simple one. Very awesome. Live with intent, live better. I love that. And they've got so many comments on it. Um, it's beautiful. It's really simple, really clean. I'll click on this one as well. This one's a really good one. As you can see, Mr. O's Restaurant Cocktails Lounge. That's awesome. So they do a lot of restaurants, food and beverage type of industry. You can see some of the menu designs, some icons, logos, stationary things. 
beautiful design very elegant upper class <laughs> got some illustration that's cool got a, got a bit of a retro feel to it as you can see there some business cards so they incorporate like photography and design and it just works really really well so that's farm design that's an amazing version and then another one from my friend you can see um julian and eric did this one auto bound so you can check them out juju branding this is an amazing case study so you can see like we created before the custom you can create a custom image and just upload that um you know 1920 by 1080 is fine make the design look nice play around with typography play around with shape and colors and you can see like simple background there just text explaining the project so project goal then go on to mock-ups you can see the color palette here you can show typography also like brand strategy or discovery how you come up with the unique brand essence and the mission here as you can see the logo design as well very key they just did such a good work and it's very extensive case study because all you really need is like three solid case studies and that's enough proof to show people that you're a great designer so i'm just going to scroll through here you can look at it yourself it's called auto bound but look at that beautiful icons there some hoodies so much stuff and heaps of different things so definitely check this out it's um amazing and i hope those actually help you out these examples thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this behance tutorial and let me know in the comments below if this was helpful or not smash the like button and subscribe for more design and branding content every week